with the deal youtube it's your boy west this is kicks for west welcome back to the channel if this is your first time watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button come join the community be part of the crew we're always welcome to have you welcome back to another live stream today i want to talk about the air jordan one satin that released tomorrow saturday for 160 dollars suggested retail price and i want to go over a couple of things as far as raffles where you can enter at is it too late to enter um you know and just talk about uh, a couple of other things as well so i got yo boy in the chat right now shout out to yo boy uh, appreciate you my guy for tuning in and he got a question he asked me did i know any places here in the valley where we stay at that's doing the raffle uh, that would be Shoe Palace, but they called all their winners yesterday. Um, Shoe Palace does their raffles Monday through Wednesday. You go up, you get a ticket, you know, and hopefully you get a call on Thursday and Saturday. You come gra grab your shoes. For me, uh, I filled out a ticket. My name didn't get called, so, you know, I didn't win on that raffle there. I do got two more chances to win this afternoon at 3 o'clock. I will see um, if I'm a winner over at Champs and over at um, Foot Locker. So those is uh, two other places where, you know, you could also fill in your tickets that uh, just go on the app, you know, and do the launch locator. And if you search our area nine times out of ten, nothing will pop up. But if you go outside of the valley, let's say Irvine, um, closer to L.A., you should be able to get hits. Sometimes even out in Ontario, their, their stores pick up um, on the releases as well. It's just, you know, you see where you can get them at. Soup said, you know any good kicks to match a yellow yellow shirt? Uh, let's see. You got the the Ferrari 14s, the yellow version. Those is good for a yellow shirt. Um, there's a pair of Sockenies that I own that's from the, the um, feature, co uh, feature collaboration. They came out with two pairs. One is the Belgian waffles. The other one is uh, the, fr the bacon and eggs. The Belgian waffles pair from Saucony and the collab with Feature. Um, goes with a, a yellow shirt. I've been rocking a yellow shirt with those. It's not too many that I can think of off the top of my head, man. You know, you, you would just have to um, do a little search, search yourself and see what you can find in that case. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about these joint ones, man. See how everybody is feeling. Um, see how many people filled out a raffle ticket. Um, were you a winner? And if you was, congratulations to you. And do you plan on keeping the shoe, or do you, or, or did you just get it to resell it? I know for me, I actually wanted the shoe, so you know, um, I'm just waiting to see if I win from these other two uh, places that I put tickets in and see what happens on that. But if I lose, I lose. I'm not gonna deal with the sneakers app this time around, just because I feel like it's always something that goes wrong with the sneakers app when it comes to these releases here. And also, a lot of people are not going to be wearing this shoe. I know for the females that do uh, pick this shoe up, they, they will be wearing it. But a lot of people is getting this shoe for the resale value. They think that the resale value is going to be sky high out the window just because the previous versions have been sky high and out the window. Um, I also feel like, you know, hey, no problem, yo boy. Um, you know, anytime I can help, you know, just ask me a question and I'll, be, I'll try to answer it best of my ability. But yeah, I feel like people, you know what I mean, just grab the shoe here and uh and just wanna resell it, man. They ain't really they ain't really rocking it. Uh Soup got another question. He says, Have you seen a Yeezy basketball shoe do to be releasing in a few months? I have. Um will I be going after the Yeezy basketball shoe? Probably not. You know, I'm not into what uh what they got to offer as far as basketball wise. I don't play too much ball, but when I did, you know what I mean, I just wore whatever I had in the collection. Um, will it be a different basketball shoe? Yeah, because they're going to use the Yeezy technology that they put on the Yeezys, whatever, and put it in the shoe. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. But, you know, back to what I was talking about with these um, with these Joy and Ones, man, and this resale and these raffles. Now, I want to share a little story with y'all. I filled out a raffle ticket, and... It's a raffle. That's the name of it. It's, it doesn't guarantee you a chance to win. It's just, you know what I mean? you able to put a ticket in and hopefully your name get picked. That's how a raffle go. So, put my ticket in and didn't get a phone call. Politely asked, uh, was, the con was the winner's contact? They didn't get a response. 
ask other people, did they get phone calls? They got calls, you know. Um, I don't know, man. I guess I'm a little salty about it in, in a sense because I didn't get a phone call over it. And it's the shoe that I wanted. And the fact that I was like maybe the one, the first person to put a ticket in, in a sense. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. I'm not going to shy away from my luck. Um, from these two, that's going to be really uh, results that's going to be coming out at 3 o'clock. So hopefully, you know, one of those. Uh, soup, you can wear React Elements for a long period of time. It's a comfortable shoe. Um, this past uh, 4th of July, I wore mine out all day. Uh, took my family to the uh, 4th of July festival and, you know, didn't have no problems whatsoever. Very comfortable. Um, wasn't taking my foot out the shoe and, you know, putting it back in or anything like that there. I was just walking around all day. My feet didn't hurt. Even driving for two and a half hours just to get to the festival because it was in a, another town. And no problems at all. Not on my end, you know. So I, I will say that you can't wear them for a long period of time. Hey, Soup, what's the release like for these joint ones um, over on your end? Is How many stores do you know of is getting these satin ones that's coming out? You said, I'm going to get... I'm going to Barcelona. I'm going to try to pick up something from there. Hopefully, they got some good sneaker stores. Well, good luck to you, brother. Hopefully, you can pick up what you want. Damn, that's it? My man said, like, five to four in the whole entire country. Jesus Christ, that is slim chances, man. Slim pickings there. But if this is your first time watching, be sure to hit that like button. It does help out the channel. Um, I am keeping this stream up. I'm not going to be taking this one down. You know, I told you guys yesterday that I would come back on today. And I'm here right now. So, you know, I wanted to get everything in order and the way that I like it. Instead of messing around, fixing it during the stream. And, you know, just have everything set up to where I want it to be. So you got to go all the way to London if you want to get some Yeezys. And that's a five-hour trip. Man, that's crazy. All the way to London for a pair of Yeezys. So what's the what's the shipping since you close by? That got to be cheap shipping for you, right? Shouldn't be that much if you uh, pay online and get a little overnight. I want to know how everybody feel <clears throat> about these joint ones that's releasing tomorrow. Oh, okay, so that's not bad. I feel like I would just do the shipping, bro, and, instead of just going five hours, you know? I mean, that's just me. I'll pay the $10. If it's $10, it could be less, but I, I still pay that. But if you just wanted to take a trip or an adventure, then, you know, you could do that little five-hour ride as well. But how is everybody feeling about these joint ones that's releasing tomorrow? Do you feel like the resale value is going to go sky high? Or is going to be regular to five to $600 for a resale? To me, I feel like it will be between five to $600. I don't see this pair here being so much... Um, not being able to get a pair, man. It, I thought these was limited in a sense like the last release. That, uh, released, you know, but it's not. It seems like there's a lot of shoe stores and, and places that's getting these shoes. And if they're widely available, but not a general release, you know, then the resale value on the shoe, in my belief, is that it'll stay to five to six hundred dollars. So if you do want a pair and you got something that's in your collection that's more. Well, close to, to that value, then, you know, you sell those and get half your money if you really want this shoe here. To me, if I don't get the shoe, then I just don't get it. That's it. I'm straight. There's another pair of joint ones that come out at the end of the month, the Obsidian joints. 
and those I will be going for. And if I get them, I'll be happy to have them in the collection, you know. But if I don't get these satin joints here in the next two hours off this raffle, then that's it. Just chalking it up to the game and moving on to the next, you know. Soup said, uh, not many people in the UK really wear Jordans like that. So, he wouldn't really know. Um, that's interesting, man. I wonder why is that? Can you can you answer that question? Why not so many people wear Jordans? You know? Oh, he did. He did. <laughs> My bad, B. I ain't finished reading your message at the bottom. He said, I don't know why. Well, it is what it is. M more people over there must like Yeezys than Jordans, you know? That every uh, continent has their own style, just like Japan, you know. They wear a lot of uh, Adidas, you know, from what I've seen. But, you know, Japan in, in its own, and China and all that, they got their own sense of fashion and everything there. So things is a little bit weird when we look at it, but to them, it's, it's, that, it's their fashion. That's what they get. And as uh, goes to speak to for here in the states, you know, even um, from New York down to to Atlanta, the fashion is different. Um, all the way out to L.A., the fashion is different. Every place got their own unique style, way and fashion. Every place got their own man. But if anybody in here uh, did win. Congratulations to you, you know, and I would like to hear if you're going to keep them or if you're going to resell them, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever you're going to do with them. We got 2K coming out September, the beginning of September. I want to try to pick that game up there. As y'all know, I am going to be uh, start uh, streaming the game on this channel here, on the Kicks From West channel. This channel is not just going to be surrounded by shoes, you know. I am going to involve some gaming on this channel, and if it takes off or if people want me to create a second channel alone for just gaming, then in the future I will do that. But for now, I am just going to be gaming on this channel and bringing you guys the shoe reviews, the unboxings, the mall vlogs, you know, the same old schedule like I've been giving to you. Uh, if you're just joining us, be sure to hit that like button. It only takes two seconds to press that. If you ain't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe. Join the community. Join the crew. We are welcome to have you. As y'all can see, I got on the Kicks from West tee right now. If you wish to order a t-shirt, head over to Wix.com slash Kicks from West. Get yourself a t-shirt. They come in a variety of colors, you know. And we got uh, all the way from XXX all the way down to small. So whatever size you need. Go over there to the website, make a purchase, you know, support the channel, show the people out there in the public who you're rocking with, who you're moving with, and all that there. Uh, Soup said, I wanted to start collecting Jordans, but the only one they sell in the UK are fours and ones. So they don't, they don't sell no other number besides four and, fours and ones? How is that so? That's crazy just to have only fours and ones uh, available to you. I mean, as y'all can see back there, I got a bunch of ones in the collection. So I wouldn't have a problem with the ones. I don't really mess with fours like that. Um, certain pairs I do. But man, that's... Sheesh. That's kind of hard. If you're in the joints, like, you know, you really got to put that work in to get the mother numbers. You really do. I find it a little hard here trying to get Jay sometimes, you know, but I took a little break off due to the summer. I wanted to enjoy the summer with my kids before they went back to school, so I wasn't really trying to buy no shoes. And it hasn't really been nothing that caught my eye um, since summer has started up until now, until these uh, satin things is coming out tomorrow. And the uh, Obsidian Joints that's releasing at the end of the month, that's really the only two pair of shoes I've been concerned trying to get. Still, you know, that's, that's on my list. Uh, he said, I was going to get the Chinese New Year ones from StockX. 
And if you want them, grab them. Like I said yesterday, man, don't be shy to shop from StockX. If uh, StockX is so bad of a place in you guys' opinion, then don't shop with them. You know, let's not make StockX the last resort to buying our shoes. You know, it can go back to the old days um, where you bought shoes off eBay before StockX even came along, before GOAT came along, you know. Use other alternatives. You don't have to use StockX if you don't want to. That's, you know, there's, there's other alternatives out there. You got GOAT. You got, uh, you know, Facebook groups. You know, eBay, of course. You got that. Uh, you got SneakerCon. When that come, come to your town, you know, you get shoes. Or if there's shoe events going on in your area. There's another opportunity for you, but StockX is not the only resort, man. It's not. Flight Club is another option for you, you know. The mom and pop sneaker shops that's in your area or outside your area that you can get to. You don't just got to rely on StockX. Hey, bro, follow me on IG and um, we could talk more about that uh over the weekend, you know, yeah, I, I definitely need uh, some help setting that up and um, getting that started there. So hit me up on IG, send me a message, and we'll chop it up and get things going with that there. And I would appreciate your help as well. So just send me a message on IG, and so we can get things started. I'm just checking these apps real quick. See how much time I got left. I was going to try to do this live, but as y'all know, I got to go pick up baby girl from school soon. So check this out. How many people on here uh, play on PS4? And if you do, send me your gamer tags over on IG. That way I can add you. Alright, so we got an hour and 37 minutes left, man. For champs. Same thing for Foot Locker. Just kind of cutting it close. Because I'm going to have to leave around that time. Just before they tell me if I won or not. But yeah, if you play on PlayStation 4, hit me on IG. Send me a gamer tag so I can have you added. Right, yeah, that's it. You got it right, Soup. Alright, no doubt, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, brother, you definitely got to get that P4, bro. You know what I mean? You need that. I ain't knocking nothing against Xbox, but that's just what I rock on. That's what I prefer to rock on. So just send me your gamer tags. Because when we go live for the game streaming, you know, invite some of y'all in the chat. And y'all can play the game with me, you know, as... New people come along. I'm going to get them opportunities to play the game with me. And I'm still thinking about doing this uh, back-to-school giveaway um, for my people on the East Coast. The school starts back uh, after Labor Day for them, September 5th, some, something like that there. So I might be doing that back-to-school giveaway. It's not just going to pertain to people on the East Coast, but I'm just using. That's when I went back to school, you feel me? When I was in school, we went back to school after Labor Day. My kids is already in school. He said 1v1 for a pair of shoes. <laughs> hey, bro, we can make all kind of wager matches. You feel me? It ain't just got to be about shoes. It could be a gift card, you know. Um, we'll come up with something. The ideas will start flowing. I already got a couple in, in the works anyway. So, yeah, we might do a couple of uh, 1v1s, you know. 
just to give some um some unwanted stuff that's not needed no more away to people. But yeah, I'm just using um the when I was in school that deep, you know what I mean? When I went back to school after Labor Day. My kids, like I said before, is already in school now. And California starts a little early. Um, same do same as down south area. They start uh get out early, go back early. So, you know, I might give away a pair of shoes and the pairs of shoes that I might be giving away. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. Hold on. Now, these is a cool back to going to school pair of shoes right here. You feel me? If um, you don't like them, then you don't you don't got to wear them. You feel me? If you the winner. And with that being said, uh, I got these uh, Adidas. In a size 10 and a half. That's right, my size. Um, they just sitting here really collecting dust in my collection. And I'd rather make more room for something else to go on a rack um i believe the beginning of the summer if i'm not mistaken these did restock uh if, when i was paying attention to the internet during that time but i got the rx1 in the duck camo colorway you know bottoms is in great condition size 10 and a half you could put these on a day where you don't want to wear your Jordans, you know, or, or your Yeezys. You could put these on for the day. And who don't like camo, you feel me? Easy matchup with these. So I might be giving these away for back to school, man. There's one pair I might consider giving back. And there's another pair, but I'm not going to show that pair just yet because I ain't to 100%. Uh, on that pair alone. I'm I'm will say I'm eighty five to a hundred percent sure about the about these right here. I will say that. So most likely these will be the ones that will be up for the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to ship them to the UK. Um the last time the the second from like the first time I ever did a shoe giveaway, the person that won was from the UK and they got their shoes. It was, it was a gamer. Um, he was probably one of the first first hundred uh, people that subscribed to my channel. And when I did that giveaway, uh, they was the ones that won, man. So, yeah. I will be sending it to the UK, wherever you live at, you know. They will, they will get to you. That's not a problem. You know, if you win, you will receive the shoes. And then after you win... For confirmation, you send a little picture, you can shoot a little video. I can incorporate that um, in, in a future video or get you up on a live, you know, that or whatever the case may be. But yeah, 85 to 100% sure that's going to be the shoe that I'm going to be giving away. Like I said before, there's another shoe that I'm thinking about giving away as well, just to uh, give away more than one, but I'm still not decided whether I want to give that shoe away just yet. So I got a question. My question is, um, do you think raffles are rigged or do you think it's a, a fair opportunity? Do you rate red Octobers? You mean do I wear? Because you said do you rate. And if you mean rate, like where do I put them on a list of shoes? He says, sneaker, sneaker raffles rigged. I mean, from the the way it took place yesterday, that's what it got me feeling like for this store, you know. 
For real. But I ain't gonna knock them. They've they been good to me in the past, you know. Maybe my name just didn't get picked, that's all. That's all. I ain't gonna uh, shame on them or anything like that. Maybe my name just didn't get picked. I give them the benefit of the doubt this time here. But damn sure, when I ain't get no phone call, I was, like, thinking the worst. Like, damn, that's crazy. They don't rock with your boy, damn. And you look out for the kid and nothing, and just, and then I asked, too, like, should I contact everybody? I don't get no response, so kind of put some, some animosity between me and, them, and that person, man, but I'm going to let it go. It is what it is. I'm about to win one of these uh, that's, that's coming up soon, so, man, and if I do, just know I'm going to have to take that ride, too, man. That's like two and a half hours away. If I do win, not close at all. Like, you gonna ride two hours? <laughs> yeah, I will. Cause there ain't no shipping. I can't get these shipped. Oh man, no, the the lows or the highs of the Cactus Jack ones. Cause I got a crazy story. I, I'm pretty sure everybody got a crazy story about the highs, man. For real. That was like a crazy morning. Crazy morning. Sneakers have this. Oh, <laughs> he said the highs. Bro, that was a crazy morning for me. For real. Got out of work early. Um, Yeah, it, it crashed on me too. I got out of work just not even like super early. Maybe like 10 minutes. Like, hey, I'm about to, you know what I mean? I'm going to head out. All right, have a good one. Leave, you know, 7 o'clock hit, punch my side, the shit froze, and start asking for payments, start asking for address verification, uh, retyping password. So by the time I got done doing all of that, get back in, um, hit the thing for my size again. It froze again, and then when I went back, I rushed home. It was like, you didn't win. I'm like, yo, what? I'm like, this is crazy. So I feel like because these joint ones, these satins that's, that's releasing tomorrow, that the hype around them is so hype that it's going to crash again. And it's going to be some same old crap that's going to take place. And I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't feel like dealing with that headache. I don't I don't want to be up there and click, 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 doing all that nonsense that it's going to do. You know, if I can't get them this way here, just going to pick them up from the retail store, then forget them, man. For real. <laughs> this boy said he went to the bathroom just so he could try to try to enter the, the release. But yeah, man, that was crazy, and that's why um, I feel like, and I feel like that's what's gonna happen tomorrow, man. It's not gonna work properly. It's not. You're gonna sit there. You're gonna try your hardest to get through. Whether if you're on the phone and you're on a computer, and due to the bots and everything else that's out there, you know, you're just gonna be mad and frustrated. So you might as well just take your L now, with grace, and move on to the next release, unless you know somebody who. Is gonna look out for you, you know. Just, just take it gracefully. If you just tuning in, please hit that like button. I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Come join the community. Be part of the crew. That's right. Come hang out with your boy. I'm not only going to be doing sneaker reviews, unboxings, and all feats on this channel, but I am going to be incorporating gaming on this channel as well. So, when 2K come out, the stream should be up and running by then. For 2K, I am going to be streaming 2K here. Um, don't have a dedicated day yet, but um, got the time pretty much figured out. I just got to figure out the day. 
And for my people overseas in the UK and everywhere else, you know, try to accommodate your schedule as well. In a sense, maybe I dedicate a day where I start at a good time for y'all versus, you know, everybody here on my side and my end just to make things fair and give everybody the opportunity to watch, enjoy, and interact in that there. And play, too, because I want to play with y'all, you know what I mean, on the game. See how how many of you are actually good at 2K or Call of Duty when it comes out, as y'all say y'all are. I'm the greatest, man. I got, I got it. I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> I've been playing COD for years. Four years until this wall running, suit flying, crap took place. That's when it, it fell off for me and, you know. Definitely where it fell off for me. All that wall running and stuff like that, man. I just want to know how the quality is going to be on these satin joints, you know. We got the satin panel on the back. I mean, not on the back, but on the, on the um, side of the shoe. You know, you got the, it's like an embossed uh, wings logo. You know, I'm sitting here looking at the picture now. It's a very dope shoe, man. Very dope shoe. It's just these is more available than the last release was. The wings all, almost look like a pin on the side, man. That's what I like. And you got your hints of a satin. You got a black Nike check. You know. Well, will it be that, that, that good old quality lever that everybody likes to compare it to, the shattered backboard joints? Will it be that, that leather type? Might be, it might not be. From pictures, I know pictures don't really do a shoe justice. Sometimes they do, and a lot of times they don't. But from looking at these pictures of this shoe here, it looks like it's just some standard leather on the shoe. And the only thing that they, they really upped the ante on was the Wings logo and the heel, the heel tab and the the Wings uh, strap at the top. Well, not the strap, but the flaps on the sides. That's the only thing that got satin on it. Everything else is standard Jordan 1. Mr. Lace Upper said, with how limited they are, they better have good quality. I, I don't think they're that limited, to be honest with you. Um, and the reason I say that is because it's a lot of stores that's getting these shoes that you didn't expect to get them. Um, it, it, it might be limited in a sense as, as far as how many pairs each store gets. So when I say that, I mean they might get uh, 112, 111, uh, 210, 210s, you know. And then two for each and every other pair below uh, ten and a half. I mean below ten. But I, I'm seeing a lot of places on Instagram advertising that that they releasing the shoe um, over my way. You know, not only that, uh, Champs. I don't think Champs really. I mean, out here by me where I'm at in the Valley, they don't really get uh, Jordan ones like that. You know, um, I just seen Finish Line advertising they getting them, and by me again. They don't really get Jordan ones like that, so you know I feel like it's it's more of a reach for you to get this shoe. It's it's available for you to get in a in a sense, but if you don't get it, then you know you're just gonna have to resort to those resale prices. But from like I said, these pictures that I'm looking at, it looked like a standard Jordan one, just besides the the pen looking wings logo and. The, the pieces of satin that's on the back, that's on the side in, in the heel cup of the shoe. That's it. The red outer sole, the mid white sole, the black uh, Nike check. You got your black uh, Nike Air on the front, you know, on a pull tab. And that's about it. They, they ain't put the satin um, part 
on the toe box area like they did for the Royals, you know, or the um, Shatterback Boys. That's not sad. And that's like, why did they do that to this one here? And that's why I believe it's it's limited, but it's, it's limited, but it's not a GR, but it's not super limited either. If that makes sense. Uh, only two pe uh, two places over there in Memphis had uh, raffles. I put a raffle. I was the first person to put a raffle ticket in at the store. You know, which it probably don't mean nothing. Like I said in the beginning, a um, couple of minutes back then, that probably don't mean nothing. But I didn't get a phone call from that store. And that was the only store in my area that did raffles. I could have drove outside of my area probably two hours away, but... That's too much gas just for some shoes. If I don't hit on Champs and on uh, Foot Locker that I got the reserve on, then that's it for me. I'm not dealing with the ha hassle tomorrow on the sneakers app. Bags, what's good, brother? How you doing today? He said, I'm in L.A. first come, first serve. Where's first come, first serve at? And I bet you those people are already camping out out there right now, waiting. He said, first come, first serve out in L.A. Yeah, I feel the same way, um, um, at least I do. Oh, at Shoe Palace. Yeah, I'm good. I wish I could come out there. I got to go to work tonight. Got that graveyard shift. Yeah, but the sneakers app, I ain't, I ain't messing around with that, man. It, it ain't going to do nothing but give you an L anyway. And if you do get through, then congratulations to you. Am I going to try? Yeah, I'm still going to give it a shot. I don't care. But I already know the outcome. I'd be surprised if I went off sneakers. Let's say that. I'll say that. I will be surprised if I went off sneakers with this shoe here. Now, if it was uh, another another shoe, um, you know, probably have a better chance. Hey, Soup, no doubt. Uh, just when you send it, I get it. You know what I mean? And we'll go from there. My shoe palace did raffles down here. I was asking everybody yesterday, you get a call, you get a call? And they're like, they called already. And when I seen that, I'm like, oh, shit. I ain't get no call. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's dope. Yeah, let's, let's get that, let's get that going. He said, I could set up bots that can notify people on the server about sneaker drops. Yeah, we could do that. That's uh, handy information right there. He said, I prepared myself mentally for an L because the bots are going to take over. That is true, man. That is true. And even if you got a bot, that don't guarantee you either. You still have to pay. I feel like with a bot, you got to pay more out of pocket. Well, not out of pocket, but you just have to pay more. Um, and when I say that, I mean, you buy a bot, okay? And, and the bot don't work forever. So when that bot is uh, done with its usage, you have to buy another bot. And these bots ain't cheap, you know? They, they run two, $300 for a good one. And then after you buy the bot, you got to buy uh, proxies, you know. If you don't know what a proxy is, Google it, you know. Find out the information about a proxy. You need that. So your personal information don't get banned and you can't, you know what I mean, can't use your personal. You can't, not with a bot. You got to create guest accounts and all that there. That's another video. I can get all into bots and all that. I know a little bit about it. I'm pretty sure y'all know information about it too. How bots are ran and everything like that there. Hit that like button if you're just joining us. I would appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, come join the channel. Be a part of the crew. This is one of the Kicks from West t-shirt right here. You can get your t-shirt over at wix.com slash kicks from west. If 
you really like the content that I'm putting out, you know what I mean? Support the channel by copping a t-shirt. And I do appreciate you watching. That means a lot, you know. I hear you, bags. Yeah, yeah. Day gone, brother. It's Friday. Shout out to the weekend. The weekend is upon us. It's Friday for most, and it's Monday for me, because I got to go back to work tonight. But other than that, I'm chilling, you know. Every day is a good day when you wake up and you just breathe and smell the air. No complaints, brother, none. Just trying to be better at what I do. Trying to make this here my job. I enjoy doing this. Coming on here, interacting with y'all, hanging out with y'all, conversing, you know. Hey, you got to get mentally prepared for college, too. You say you got two weeks. Start preparing yourself. You know, you you got class. And I don't, I'm not trying to sound like your parent, but I'm just, you know, just shedding some advice to you. Prepare yourself because it's a schedule. It's a responsibility. If you want to get in and get out of there, you know, you, of course, have your fun. That's what it's for. College, you know, it's a, an experience. But college ain't for everybody. For those that is for, then it's for. If, it, if it's not for you, then you know you'll find your you'll find another way. You will find another way. I went to college for a little bit, but uh, life threw a wrench, and so I could go back. I should go back, but. I ain't willing to pay student loans. I'm already paying those. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm still there, bags. I, you know what I mean. I, ain't, I ain't get paid yet by YouTube. I don't know how much I'm at right now. Probably a couple of uh, more dollars. I'm probably off about ten, twelve dollars. You know, before that hundred dollar payout. You know. <laughs> he said, you know, Sue said, you going to have the fly shoes in the building. It's going to be the freshest one on campus. Hey, they're going to be calling you flashy like they did for me when I was in school in Florida. Hey, fool, you flashy. <laughs> like, what? Bro, going to school in Florida and, and... See, I could deal a little bit with this, uh, this valley heat in this desert and this little bit of humidity that we get in August. But down in Florida, bro, it is always humid. And and a kid and a kid from the east uh, upper east coast man from New Jersey it wasn't always humid there so we had you know what I mean different type of weather I changed you know what I mean take a shower twice a day come out with a different pair of clothes they like hey where you get that from like bro if you don't understand during that time early two thousands you know the the throwback jerseys was in style and so you'd be able to go over. Hey, California needs some rain right now. Where I'm at, it needs the rain. It's too hot. We we had a heat wave uh, a warning for these next couple of days. We got 115, 118, 120, you know. So rain, yeah, rain is definitely, <laughs> definitely needed over here. We definitely need some rain. Make a 10-minute video and then I can leave. Hey, well, this one here, you can, you know what I mean? Uh, or I, I'll, I'll make something, something short, maybe a little mall vlog or something. I ain't did that in a minute. Hey, well, maybe California can, can send some heat your way, man, because we got too much over here. But if you can survive these three months, then... It's pleasant after that. I mean, very nice weather after that. I, uh, Halloween, mid '80s, you know. Christmas, uh, same thing, mid '80s, you know. Good weather after the summer. So this year we've been getting a break, as far as the weather has been taking place. Really, at night, it'd be like a hundred degrees. We've been getting that. It's actually been cooling down at night. We've been getting like 80, 85, 86. 
you know, some places getting 70. If you go higher up in the in the mountains, you you know, you get them low 60s. That's real cool up there in Yucca. Shout out to my people up in Yucca. Hey, I was just talking about that last night, bro. Um, I'm over here setting up this, this Twitch channel, you know. And I was looking at a couple of videos on how to do custom panels and all that there. So, yeah, um, if you could, you know, send a, send a graphic design in my way and we could chop it up, you know, help me out with a little designs, whatever, I would appreciate that. Trying to get the Twitch channel um, looking professional as possible on my end. You know, so when you guys see what you see, you like what you see, and, and you want to come back and, and watch more and participate more in the games that I'm going to be playing in. Yeah, I was just watching some videos last night, how to uh, do custom panels for the Twitch and all that. Because what I want to do is I want to Twitch and I want to stream on YouTube at the same time. So for my people on YouTube, y'all can watch, play the game, and then... If I got your gamer tag, you could play as well, you know. And then for the people that, that, that join on on the Twitch channel, you know, they can game and play as well too. So I want to use both at the same time. Uh, right now I use Premiere uh, Premiere Pro. You know, I got the whole uh, edition here on the computer. I got Windows. I had a Mac, but it got destroyed, and I wasn't willing to pay that price no more, so. The program, um, full price, I think, for just uh, Premiere Pro and Photoshop, you could buy a Best Buy for, I want to say $100 or, or 150 if I'm not mistaken, but I got the I got everything like I got the cloud support, I got cloud storage, um, not cl I mean I got technical, you know what I mean I got all that. <laughs> he said I got a dilemma. Should I? Let's ask the chat. Hey chat, what should bags do? I mean not bags, sorry bags. What should soup do? Should he buy a MacBook Pro or five or four to five pairs of shoes? To start his sneaker collection. I'm going to give my answer. And I want everybody in the chat to give yours after I give mine. I'm going to say you buy the MacBook Pro first. And then you get the sneakers after. That's what I say. Yeah, I got a camera. Yep, sure do. I'm actually trying to upgrade the camera that I got. Um... All right, we got one person that said buy the MacBook Pro. Come on, y'all chime in. Let him know what he should do. MacBook Pro or buy five pairs of shoes? Yeah, the the, the Adobe uh, software is, is a good software as, as far as editing and stuff. It um it doesn't um it's not hard to use. That's what I wanted to say. It, it doesn't it, it's not hard to use at all. It's not hard. It, using Premiere Pro is one of the easiest softwares, in my opinion, to use, man. Very simple to use. Uh, right now, I got a Canon T6i Rebel. I'm trying to get the uh, Canon M50, and then I just seen that the, the new uh, GX7 Mark III just came out. The little uh, mirrorless camera that they got that a lot of people be vlogging with. So I want to get one of those as well. As far as for the uh, the live stream and all that there, I got the Logitech uh, C922. Yeah. The one that uh, can remove the background and all that. You don't need a green screen. So when the game, I mean... I, I might leave it like like show the background because I got the shoes and stuff, but sometimes I might just 
just show me, you know, just me when I'm on Twitch. That's 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 why I'm still waiting. Um, what what you think about what you think about the Panasonic Luminex G7? It's a good camera. I played with it um when I was in Best Buy. You know I liked it a lot. I'm just only reason I wouldn't buy it because I'm not familiarized with the, uh how to operate it well. With me, I didn't have this this Canon. Uh, I got Android. With me, with this Canon, I know how to operate it because I didn't had it for so long. So when when I do get that M50, you know, I already know how to use everything that's on the camera. Well, not everything. If I want to do certain stuff, then, you know, probably had to do some research on it. But I'm familiar with Canon. So that's what keeps me going, you know. I don't mind learning something new. I see a lot of a lot of people use the, the, G, uh, the G7 too. And if I was to get a G7, it would have to be the 4K one that shoots in 4K. But that's that's like three thousand dollars. I ain't got that kind of money right now. There, there's one that you can get that's about uh, uh the there's there's two G7s the the three. The three thousand dollar joint, and then there's one for like seven, eight hundred dollars. That that's the one that don't shoot in four K. Did anybody win the satin raffle? You said the G seven is five hundred for for four K. Then I must got the model switched up then, cause I I swore it was one of them that I seen. It cost like. Three some like three thousand dollars. I forgot who who got that camera. Um, Bull, Bull, Bull RC. He the one that got it. he he got it. I think a few other YouTubers that I watched got it as well. Oh, he said go check on Amazon. Hold up, let's see. Oh, okay, I see it on here. Is that the camera that, that you're looking to buy for yourself? Because I'm going to just get that M50. Soup said, if you could get any high-end shoe for free, what would it be? Um... Uh, shit. I don't know. I don't really like them like that. I don't like them high end shoes. That, that's that's kind of hard, bro. It, it had to be something that that catches my eye. Maybe some old uh, 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 Louis Vuitton joints, without all the spikes on the on the toe box. You know, maybe a pair of those. Hey, my best thing is go to Best Buy and play around with the cameras. That's what I did. And that's what get that that's why I'm decided the way I am. Just go to Best Buy, play around with the cameras, you know. Hey, no problem, man. Anytime I can help, that's what I'm here for. You know? I'll be right back. I gotta go grab some water.
I'm over here talking and I muted the mic. <laughs> but yeah, I had to run and get some water real quick. I ain't turned the AC on yet. I be trying to hold out as much as I can. Got the little ceiling fan running. So let me ask y'all, how many people like this shoe? Anybody? Well, if you won that shoe, would you wear it or what would you do with it? That's my next question. Somebody said drip. Another person said fire. We got drip again. Drip, drip. <laughs> Well, this is going to be the shoe that I'm going to give away for the back to school giveaway. I told you guys I was 85 to 100% sure, and I'm definitely sure that this is the shoe that I'm going to give away. I might throw in another shoe as a surprise, most likely. It might not be a shoe, it might just be a t-shirt, you know. So I will state the rules and everything on the next live for everybody that's in here now. You know that this is going to be the shoe that's going to be given away for the back to school giveaway. And if you catch this live stream on the back end, we are approaching. Uh, we've been doing this for an hour now. These are a size 10 and a half. I wore these a couple of times, not too many. You know, still got good traction on the soles and all that there. Um, and now I don't wear them like that. So they just, uh, collecting dust here in the collection. And instead of, instead of me, <clears throat> you know, selling them, which I probably won't get much for anyway, I'd rather give them away to one of you guys. All of us is not fortunate uh, to get a new pair of shoes, and these ain't brand new, but they are kept up in its best condition. They look brand new, you know, during uh, during school time to get a new pair of shoes when school first start. And so this is my way of helping one of one of you guys is out, you know, have another pair in your rotation to rock throughout the week when you go to school. I was coming up, had to work. So I ain't asked mom and dad, well, I chose to work. I wanted to work, you know, I wanted my own money. So when I went first day of school, hell yeah, I was fresh because I was working throughout the summer. And sometimes as I got older in grades during the school year. But yeah, these are size 10 and a half, the NMD R1 and the duck camo colorway. And they call these the, the Poor Man Bapes. And the reason why they call them that is because Bape and Ape did a collaboration with uh, Adidas. And it has the Bape print on the other joints. These don't got them. So, yeah. Size 10 and a half for the free. Soup said, I am working. A job currently making $120 a week is enough to get me some decent sneakers every month. The soup, how old is you, bro? You making buck twenty a week.
16. At 16, I mean, about to turn 17. All right, so you got a birthday coming up. At 16, I was working at, what was I working at? Burger King. I believe it was Burger King. Or, I'm wrong, it could be Blimpies. You know. But anyway, yeah. Working at either one of those places. Bringing about that much home. A little bit more, though. By the time I was a senior in high school. And that, that is, you is a senior. You say you better start college. So, no, I was working at Burger King. Oh, no, I was waking, I was waking <laughs> way more than that. Because I was closing the store. I was a the night manager. Night, yeah, night man, night supervisor. Whatever, whatever, one of those. Night person. Shit, I was the closer. So I made just a little bit more. But I'm not saying that to deter you away from what you're making. Just, just saying. 120 is, is not bad, but it always can be better, you know? Is there a mall where you live at? Like, and why you only, why is it, what's the minimum wage over there? I should have asked that first. What's the, what's the minimum wage? I don't remember what the minimum wage was when I was in school. Probably was five dollars. But it don't matter. You got a job, that's good, you know. Make it something better than nothing. You better start school. Minimum wage was minimum wage for sixteen years. Oh. Okay. Five dollars. oh, all right. You said he like on seven or eight or seven or eight. I get you. And plus, you ain't working that many hours. They probably give you like ten hours a week. I mean, if that's you know what I mean, you. That's what you got for right now, brother. If you want more, you know what you got to do. You got to apply yourself more to better places. That's all. So do you get more as a 17-year-old? It's like, it's, it's, or what's the age bracket? It's, what's the law? What y'all think about them 12s that's coming out next Saturday? Oh, he said it's going up by 10, 10 cents. Sheesh. UK ain't playing for it, man. Damn. You better go sell some dope. Nah, I don't gonna do that. I'm just joking with you. <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't even see you ask that question, Bags. Um, let me answer that now. He said, uh, what do you think about the Flynet Retro Jordan 1s? He saw a lot of people hating on them, but he thought the Royal ones looked the nicest. So, uh, I'm going to answer that in a minute, but I got a question for you. How many colorways is coming out in these Flynet Jordan 1s? I don't, I don't recall seeing them. Uh, let me let me Google a picture right now, so I get on the same page as you.
Oh, okay. Here we go, here we go. So we got the bread colorway, we got the royal colorway, we got the shadow colorway. We got the Black History Month colorway as well. What colorway is this one? The G to Respect. I don't, even, I don't even know if that came out yet. I don't know how true that one is. Um, I, I'm not big on the Flyknit material on Jordan's period, but if I had to pick a colorway... It would be the shadow joints. It would be the shadow joints. There's nothing wrong with the Royals. It just, to me, it, it would be the shadow joints. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the pictures here now. Yeah, the, the the shadow joints would be the ones that that I probably rock with. They want somebody on stock ass on a buck fifty. Yeah, so the shadows would probably be the first pick. Royals would be next. And then let me look at these bread joints. And then the breads would be would be the last colorway if I had to. The breads, man, they, they look like grandma that made those. On the quarter panels and the, the hill cup. They got the leather uh, wings logo stitched in. What's up with this tongue? Man, I'm disappointed about the Phantom, the Phantom joints, bro. Like I got them shoes early, and it's nothing wrong with getting shoes early. You know, I got them shoes early um, to do the review and get that out for you guys. Oh okay, yeah. Cause on Stock X, uh, all three colorways is going for a buck fifty, in a size ten. I just saw. But if you want them, I mean, rock them. Like I said, my my, if I had to pick a colorway, it would be the uh, it would be the 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 shadow joints. That would be the colorway that I would get. Said the tongue looks weird. I don't know what it is, but people were saying it was damaging the joy and brand and ruin, ruining the history. Um, I don't think it damaged the brand, and I definitely don't think it's ruining the history. Um, you know they they put them on the fours. People people were buying them fours up like crazy. It's just something new and different. And it's always going to be a little bit of backlash on something that's new and different that the masses is not messing with. Now, when everybody is rocking with it, it's no problem at all. You know, but when everybody is against it, then it becomes, it's, it's a problem. Right. Just just little tweaks here and there to, to, to make it stand out, to make it pop more, you know. Uh, Bag said he would change the wings to the... To, I, he would change the wings black on the blue ones and change the tongue. You know, just little tweaks. The 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 tongue, from when I looked seeing at the pictures, it looked it looked 
it, it looked rubbery. Like you pull it and 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 it snatched back. Like it got that snatch back effect. That's what it looked like to me. You know. But um, if you're looking for a pair of shoes to buy, check out the the Phantom One joints. They they going for I think about a hundred dollars. Those ain't selling. And I was very surprised that they not selling. You know what I mean? I I think it's a dope colorway. I, I haven't rocked mine yet. I still got them. I ain't even uh, put the put the mount on. Yeah, I still got them. I still got my shadows. I ain't rocked yet. Just still got them sitting here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, it's 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 stretch. Uh, hold on, I'll show you. Oh, you know what? I just hold on. Hold on, I'm going to put the picture up here on the screen for you so you can see exactly what they look like. Seconds. Right, Hold on, I got you right now. Hold on. Um, put the thumbnail that I made up. Wow. Wow. There you go. Alright, so you see them? You can find these for about $100 on StockX. Appreciate it, brother. You know, I'm trying. I'm, I'm over here working, learning how to how to use, you know what I mean, a system or whatever. Go check that video out, you know, if you haven't seen it, um, for you to get a better. Uh, these, no. No, they're, they're, this is the Phantom Joints. So it's, it's white, uh, light gray. It's just this color, man. They got different laces. They, they got uh, white laces. They got black laces to go with it. I just chose to put the red in. And on the other shoe, you'll see in the video that I put the black laces in as well, too.
But yeah, go check that video out. And you'll be able to make a decision whether if you want those or not. I thought those shoes was going to move. Well, not move, but I thought they was going to do better than what they did. They went on sale quick. <laughs> they went on sale, like, after the first two weeks after they released. And I was like, damn, I should have just waited. But, you know, think about the channel and putting it out for you guys. So, But, yeah, I haven't rocked them yet. Still got them in the collection. They still just sitting there waiting. The next vapor mask I want is the Cactus Flea Market pair. Those go for a grip. I've been looking at the uh, market, you know. Still ain't seeing nothing under 500. Still, it's still up there above 500 right now. But that will be my next pair of vapor max. The, the, the uh, Cactus uh, Market. Pair, flea market pair. So y'all remember? Yeah, yeah, about five hundred. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is a lot. You know, it is a lot. Remember. Let me say this here on the next live. Let me hold on. On the next live, which will probably be this Sunday. Will probably be this Sunday around 1 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Is it, I want to say 10 p.m. Uh, UK time. You know. But 1 p.m. Pacific time, West Coast. We will go over the rules to enter the giveaway. So if you catch this live stream later, you know, and those that was in here now, you already seen what the shoe looks like. And we're going to cover this more. It's a simple, uh, simple rules to enter. Nothing hard to do whatsoever. On the next live, I will state the rules on how to enter the shoe giveaway, man. For... Uh, back to school. It, even if even if you're not there and you watch the video later, just follow the rules. That's all you have to do. Even if you're not in the in the live stream when we live, just follow the rules to enter, and you will be entered. So. This Sunday, I will be back on again. Hey, have safe travels, man, uh, going back home on Sunday. Thank everybody who tuned in to watch today's live. I do appreciate it, you know. Um, we talked about the Jordan Satin Ones that's releasing tomorrow. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Same name as the channel Kicks from West. You know, for behind the scenes actions, you can see it first over there on Instagram. Um, next stream suit will be on Sunday. Sunday at 1 p.m. I will be back. On YouTube live talking about the giveaway um, talking about the results from the raffle and, and how the satins are doing if I got a pair if I do get a pair I and I win you will see that video tomorrow you will see that so if you don't see no video then what that tell you that tell you that I ain't won but if there is a video made that means I got them you know and everything went smooth Follow me over on Instagram, 
catch the behind the scenes of what's going on in your boy's life, you know, the day-to-day -day process of what's taking place, you know, stuff that you don't see on YouTube. And thank you to everybody who watched today's stream. If you did not hit that like button, please do so now. Or if you're watching this later on on YouTube, hit that like button. I would appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe. Come join the community. Be part of the crew. We're always welcome to have you. And if you would like to cop some merch, please head over to Wix.com. That's W-I-X.com slash Kicks from West to support the channel, support the movement, show the people in the public who you rocking with. You know, and I would appreciate it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you would like to support, then that website is up and running right now where you can copy your merch at, you know. And until the next live stream, I hope everybody have a safe and blessed day. It is the weekend. Let's have fun. You know, be safe. I see you guys Sunday, and I'm out. Peace.